ऑब्जर्वेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट्स और दिस स्टडी इज नॉन एज एब्यूलोस्कोपी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस दैट द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग नॉन वोलेटाइल सोल्यूट आर ऑलवेज लोअर देन दो प्योर सोलवेंट एज एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर इट मीन्स दैट द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ द सोल्यूशन विल नेवर बिकम इक्वल टू प्योर सोलवेंट एट एनी टेम्परेचर सो द एलिवेशन ऑफ द बॉलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन डिपेंड्स ऑन द सोलवेंट एंड कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ द सोल्यूशन and uh, it is independent of the nature of the solute for dilute uh, solutions uh, in order to understand uh, this explanation let's uh, uh, discuss the graphical uh, representation of the elevation of boiling points uh, given here so the elevation of uh, the boiling point can be understood by plotting a graph between temperature and vapor pressure the graph of the solvent uh, that is the pure solvent and the solution are shown here since the vapor pressure of the solution are always lower than that of the pure solvent at all temperatures so the graph uh, a b is representing the variation of the vapor pressure by increasing the temperature and uh, it's giving the uh, slightly non linear trend uh, that's uh, showing uh, a slight deviation from the raoult's law or the behavior of the solvent as non ideal in the form of solution as the vapor pressure uh, of the pure solvent uh, is observed at uh, increasing temperature we can see the vapor pressure of the solvent is increasing with the uh, temperature which is due to the higher energy available to the solution at higher temperature making the uh, breakage of the solvent solvent bonds and these uh, solvents are free from the Uh, intermolecular forces and they come to the uh, surface uh, near the liquid air boundary so here we have solvent molecules which are interconnected with the molecular intermolecular forces so uh, when the temperature of the solution uh, solvent or the any liquid is increased these uh, uh, intermolecular forces are uh, broken down uh, leading to the free molecules uh, which uh, leave the liquid surface and come to the uh, surface uh, at uh, air and liquid boundary so the pressure uh, created by the the particles of the solvent present uh, in the air is known as vapor pressure so for the uh, pure solvent uh, the vapor pressure is always higher as compared to the solution because we have uh, the higher intermolecular forces uh, that are created uh, between the solute and solvent making the uh, requirement of higher temperature to break the intermolecular bond and let these uh, uh, solvent molecules to become a part of the uh, vapor so due to the solvent the vapor pressure of the solution represented as uh, graph c uh, d is showing uh, the uh, vapor pressure uh, that is always lower than the pure solvent at all temperatures as we know that the air pressure is uh, 760 torr and uh, if we observe the uh, vapor pressure of the pure solvent and solution uh, require a temperature to uh, make the vapor pressure of the pure solvent and solution equivalent to the 
uh, external pressure that is 7 uh, 60 torr so uh, here we see that for pure solvent it require t not temperature to boil it means that the vapor pressure of the uh, pure solvent is equal to the external pressure at this point the uh, pure solvent or liquid gets boiled but for the solution as the vapor pressure is lower than the uh, pure solvent it require higher temperature to reach at uh, this point that is equal to the external pressure so here we need uh, temperature T at uh, the external pressure of the solution is P and uh, at uh, boiling point the uh, va uh, vapor pressure of the pure solvent is P0 whereas it's P for the solution at T. So point B is the boiling point of uh, solvent whereas point D is the boiling point of solution. So here we observe the uh, temperature difference uh, bit, uh, for the boiling point of the pure solvent and the solution uh, with the specific concentration is uh, T0 and T. So here we get uh, uh, difference in the uh, boiling points or the elevation of the boiling point at the TB is actually the difference of the temperature required for the boiling of the solution it is higher as compared to the T naught which is required to boil the uh, pure solvent uh, that is T naught is lower so uh, I'm going to write the P dash for the uh, vapor pressure of the solution at its boiling point uh, but uh, at the boiling point of the pure solvent the vapor pressure of the solution is observed to be less than the uh, uh, external uh, pressure or the P node that is 760 torr so it is uh, less than 760 torr so this point is actually P so we have P node and P now let's uh, treat the, the vapor pressure of the pure solvent and solution at the boiling point of the so, uh, pure solvent uh, that will be used for the calculation of the concentration of solute in terms of either mole fraction or the molecular weight. In chemical thermodynamics, there is a well-known mathematical relationship known as grazius claparian equation. You, you just have to memorize this equation. Uh, uh, that is the log natural of uh, uh, vapor, pre uh, vapor pressure 2 over vapor pressure 1. And uh, here del HV is the heat of vaporization. And uh, uh, R is uh, general gas constant uh, where P2 is the temperature that is higher and T1 is the lower temperature as uh, for our case the T1 is uh, T0 and the T2 is the temperature of the or the boiling point of the solution. So we can uh, rewrite this equation 1 in terms of uh, explanation uh, I have uh, given in the graphical form so the uh, T2 is uh, actually T for our case and T1 is T0 whereas uh, the pressure 2 is actually P0 and uh, P1 is the uh, pressure of the uh, solu solvent in a form of solution so here uh, P2 must be higher than P1 so in our case uh, P0 is higher than P so P2 is actually P0 so we can write uh, or rewrite this equation in terms of explanation uh, we are following so I have redefined uh, equation uh, 1 as equation 2 with the explanation fitting to our example whereas uh, del HV is actually the heat of vaporization of the solvent so if the solution is dilute uh, the del hv is the molar heat of vaporization of the pure solvent 
so for very dilute solution a dilute v is actually the molar heat of vaporization of the pure solvent so according to our explanation uh, the elevation of boiling point that is uh, del t b is actually the difference between t minus t naught uh, but in equation we have uh, T minus T naught over uh, in, uh, the product of the two temperatures. So we can replace this factor as uh, del uh, Tb and uh, we can uh, exchange the position of these two pressures uh, which can change the uh, sign of uh, this term. So uh, what we have done, uh, we have replaced uh, this term with uh, del Tb, which is actually the difference of uh, two boiling points of the pure solvent and the solution. And uh, we have exchanged the position of uh, P naught over P. So we have to write the uh, negative sign for the this change. So here we uh, need to do some uh, assumption that uh, 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 if the solution is very dilute, for this case, the temperature of or the boiling point of the solution is almost near to the boiling point of the pure solvent. That is because uh, very small amount of the solute cannot build enough uh, new or the stronger intermolecular forces that can change the uh, boiling point of the solvent to much extent. So uh, as we are assuming that uh, the, the boiling point of the solution is equal to the boiling point of the pure solvent, so we can write this term T1 uh, that is actually the T into T0. So we can rewrite this term as T into T naught is equal to T naught square due to this assumption. So now we can uh, rewrite this equation as the negative uh, log natural of P over P naught that is equal to the heat molar heat of vaporization of the pure solvent over general gas constant into elevation of boiling point or the difference of boiling point of the pure solvent and the solution over the boiling point of the pure solvent square so we get the equation number three so now re-remember the Raoult's law which uh, uh, proposed that the lowering or the, uh, this factor is proportional to the mole fraction of the pure solvent uh, which means that the vapor pressure of the solution is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the uh, solvent and here P naught is actually the uh, proportionality constant. Here we have P is equal to E naught into X1. And here uh, we know that uh, the total uh, mole fraction X1 plus X2 of the solution is equal to 1 and uh, we can uh, calculate the value of uh, x1 that is equal to 1 minus x2 so here we can write p over p naught is actually equal to 1 minus x2 so here we can observe that uh, log natural of p over p naught is uh, the term which is having the same uh, term which is derived here using the first definition of the Raoult's law so by comparing equation 3 and this one we can rewrite equation number 3 as minus log natural of 1 minus x2 is equal to again 
molar heat of vaporization over the general gas constant and into elevation in boiling point over the T naught square so we get equation number 4 mathematically the this term that is the log natural of 1 minus x2 is actually equal to the um, series that is minus x2 plus x2 square x2 is the factor so here we have uh, 2 factorial minus again x2 cube over 3 factorial and so on So in this uh, mathematical series, uh, if we observe closely that uh, we are using very dilute solution and X2 is the concentration or the mole fraction of the uh, solute. Uh, for example, if we are taking uh, 0 0.01 molar solute, or the mole fraction is 0 0.01 or maybe if you are taking the uh, 0.9 as uh, x1 or 0.1 as x2 so if you take the square of uh, 0.1 that will be equal to 0 0.01 and uh, if you are taking the uh, cube of uh, x2 uh, here we have the actually mole fraction of the solute so for cube we have value point double uh, zero one and uh, for uh, higher order we have again smaller value so here we have observed that the higher order terms for example if this one is point one and this one is point zero one and again we have point zero zero one and other one is point Four zero one. So higher order terms can be ignored because they have minor contribution to the uh, value for uh, this series. So we can write that the log natural of 1 minus x2 is equal to only x2. So we are uh, ignoring the higher order terms that is the uh, series for uh, this mathematical expression so we can rewrite the equation number four as minus this term have uh, been replaced uh, with uh, minus x2 using the mathematical uh, series so here we have minus x2 is equal to del hv over r and that is equation number Five. Here we have uh, an, an important term. Uh, I'm writing it as equation with star. Now we can write the final expression that is the mole fraction of the solute is equal to the heat of vaporization or the molar heat of vaporization of the pure solvent when the solution is very dilute and boiling point of the pure solvent so we have equation number six so here we can again rewrite this equation in terms of the lowering of vapor pressure uh, that led to the elevation in boiling point is equal to the R T naught square over del H V into X2. So here we have equation 7. So this equation 7 gives uh, us the elevation of the boiling point of the solution. Anyhow, we uh, should know the boiling point of pure solvent 
T naught heat of vaporization of the solvent and mole fraction of the solute. So all these factors are actually a constant. So here we can uh, confidently uh, say that the elevation in the boiling point or uh, uh, increase in the boiling point of the solution is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the solute. Since we know that the mole fraction of the solute can be given as the number of moles of the uh, solute over the total number of moles of the solution. So uh, in, uh, again uh, we are saying that the sol solution is very dilute and the factor that is N2 in the denominator can be ignored mathematically. Uh, for example, if you are taking the 0.99 moles of the solvent and uh, 0 0.01 mole of the solute so here uh, this factor 0 0.01 that is added to the 0 0.99 is uh, almost negligible so we can rewrite that uh, x mole fraction uh, can be written as n2 over n1 uh, this condition is uh, applicable only for very dilute solutions if the concentration of the solute is a bit higher in the, uh, as a point 0.1 so this factor is uh, important but when uh, it's well dilute so this factor can be ignored so in this equation we have number of moles of the solute over number of moles of the solvent as n1 is number of moles of solvent for 1000 grams of solvent so if, uh, in this case when we have a uh, uh, number of moles of the solute over the uh, number of moles of the solvent for 1000 gram of solvent for this special case we can write the x2 is equal to molality over n1 so we can put this x2 value in equation 7 so we can have elevation in boiling point equal to the rt naught square over heat of vaporization of the pure solvent again n1 is the number of moles of the uh, solvent 4000 gram of the solvent and the molality of solute so here uh, I have uh, written the value of n1 in the brackets because it is the number of moles of 1000 gram of solvent and all other parameter within the bracket are also related with the nature of the solvent and uh, they are the constant factors for a particular uh, solvent as these uh, all parameters are constant so we can write all parameter equal to a constant value so we can write that uh, the constant is kb that is the boiling point constant that is equal to the r t naught square over heat of molar heat of vaporization of the pure 
solvent into uh, number of moles of solvent for 1000 gram of solvent so uh, this boiling point constant is also known as ebulloscopic constant so we have equation 8 and this one is equation 9 so we can write the equation 8 in a, by comparing equation 9 so elevation in boiling point is equal to the kb into molality of that is the solute so it means that the uh, boiling point is directly proportional to the molality of the solution so now uh, we are here uh, able to follow the conclusion from uh, this equation 9 and uh, 10 that uh, number 1 the elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to the molality of the solute and in equation 9 we have seen that there isn't any term which is showing the concentration of the solute the uh, ebulioscopic constant is independent of the concentration of solute so we have a finding that uh, yeah, k b is independent of the concentration of solute it depends on the properties of the solvent here t naught is the boiling point of the pure solvent here uh, molar heat of vaporization of pure solvent at particular temperature and n1 is the uh, number of moles of solvent 4000 gram of the solvent as the ebulioscopic constant is independent of the uh, solute concentration then the observed and calculated values of this constant must be equal why because here uh, there isn't any contribution of the uh, solute so here uh, we are in condition to calculate molecular weights of solute from elevation of boiling point So we know that the molarity is actually equal to the mass of the solute over molar mass of the solute into 1 over mass of solvent in kilogram or 1000 grams 
so according to uh, the this definition molarity is equal to the mass of solute that is w2 molar mass of the solute m2 into 1 over mass of solvent w1 per 1000 grams so we can rearrange this equation as w2 into 1000 over m2 into this w1 capital m so we get equation number 11 now we can replace the value of uh, uh, mol molality sorry here we have a molality molality of the solute so we can uh, replace the value of m that is the molality of solute solute that is expressed in terms of the uh, mass or molar masses so we get the final expression that is the elevation in boiling point is equal to the nebuloscopic constant or that is the boiling point constant into 1000 W2 over M2 into W1. So we get the equation number 12. So here we can uh, write the value of Kb that is the uh, bulioscopic constant. So this equation will be equal to that is r t naught square over heat of vaporization n1 in 2000 w2 over w1 m2 that is question number 13 so from equation 12 we can uh, calculate the molar uh, molar mass of the solute using the elevation in boiling point so here this equation number 12 can be rearranged as molar molar mass of the solute is equal to kb so we can remove this one here and tb here kb over del tb into 1000 w2 over w1 Here M2 is the uh, molar mass of the known volatile non electro light solute so here we have seen that the uh, elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to the um, molality of the solute so the molality is actually the 
uh, depending on the number of particles of the solute present in the solvent so this is the uh, colligative property which is depending on the number of solute particle that are present in the solvent or the solution in a form of solution 